fostering with Bristol City Council when the extraordinary happens. Mark, thank you so much for having a chat with me. Um, what I'm really interested in is obviously it's a very intriguing concept to foster, but how can you financially do it? You get given an allowance that supports you to cover the costs around utility bills, pocket money, towards uniforms. As you start fostering, when you get some support with regards to buying furniture, some bedding, booster seats, items of clothing, you know, so there is financial support there for you. The allowance is a regular payment that, you, that keeps you running and means there's no cost to yourselves. There's also things like the Max Card. You can apply for a Max Card, which allows you money off as a foster carer. And it doesn't hurt. We always ask at venues as such when we're taking the children out, do you have a carer's um, concession rate? Normally they do. There's also through support from social services, our children access free swimming, free sports activities, and free events throughout the year. So there's a lot of support financially out there to manage and support those children and yourselves. I think the biggest element of support you get as a foster carer, there's the AFCA organisation in Bristol, and that's a charitable organisation supporting foster carers. They run regular events that the children can access, and also foster carers can access support from them. So what would you say then to people out there that, you know, maybe they have a part-time job, and what would you say to people like that if their concern was to do it with finances? I think, come on board, speak to the adoption of fostering team. I work part-time and I know lots of single foster carers that are supporting multiple children in placement and they have the support of social services and Bristol City Council to help them manage that and look at the finances, look at other ways of accessing grants and support and making the full use of all those concessions that you're entitled to as a foster carer. It can be done, again, I know lots of single parent carers who may work part-time, the hours fit around like anyone else around the children and they have that support in place.